Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next, I'll be building the Austin Martin DB5. I am on issue 14, stage 52. Now, if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this build. It's fantastic. Also over there, as you know, they have the, the newest release that they've come out with, which is super exciting to build, and you can find videos on my playlist for the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 build. Now, if you haven't done so already, head over to Facebook and join my exclusive DB5 build. I put a link in the description below. Why would you want to do that? I put a screw chart in there so it will help you with this build because all the screws that come with each of your issues uh, aren't identified. So with this screw chart, it will definitely help you out. And I explain that in this video a little bit later. Also, with this issue, issue 14, we received another binder. The binder's fantastic. It will help protect all your magazines that you receive because the magazine is not just how to build the model. The magazine is just full of information about James Bond. And if you're a fan of James Bond like I am, it's fantastic and you want to keep those issues for posterity and have those forever. So the, the, the binder is definitely very nice to receive with this issue. So without further ado, let's get started on stage 52. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 52. So for stage 52, we received the main roof frame. And there's a lot going on here, and there's a lot to do. You can see we have a lot of parts that we got to gather to assemble this issue. So we, we're definitely making up for what we didn't do in stage 51. So... We start off with uh, installing, it looks like, the back windshield. And then we do the ejector seat roof frame. Then we install the front windshield and the inside roof assembly. The visors, which those have already gone in. And uh, we may have to take those off because they might have gotten in the way. And I remember what I remember about this was you can't put your windows in yet until you put the ejector seat uh, roof frame in first. So we'll look to see how that goes. So this isn't necessarily in order. And then, uh, of course, we install the uh, inside roof assembly itself and then the gas uh, gas tanks on, on the roof frame also because they're, they're right there. So let me get the parts and I will be right back. All right, here's the parts for stage 52, and I'll go ahead and uh, take this out. We'll get a closer look at this, give it a good inspection, make sure nothing is bent up and all that. The box that this came in was pretty beat up, so what I can tell from the outside, it looks pretty good. So I'll be right back. All right, to look at the roof assembly again, it's well protected front and back. So we have foam on there that's taped on. I'll go ahead and take the foam off and we'll look at all the parts. Alright, I'm back and the roof assembly looks fantastic. But before we get into the roof, let's talk about the screws. As you know, when you receive these screws, they aren't marked. And it's kind of a guessing game on uh, what screws, what are they? So remember that if you head over to my Facebook group that I created for this build specifically, I put a link in the description below and please join my Facebook group and I have this screw chart available for download in that group and believe me that's going to help you out immensely so I discovered type A screws are being used in, in stage 52 it goes by stages and type C screws and the type D what's funny about the D it says I'm supposed to have silver type D screws these are the four millimeter diameter and they're countersunk type screw heads and they're actually black they're not silver so it's probably just a change that they made later on with this uh, 
build because I know this has been out for quite a while and a lot of people have already built it over in Europe a long time ago. But hey, hey, we're finally getting it in the U.S. and it's a lot of fun. So A, C, and D. That was a lot easier. All right, now the roof. It's all metal. And what I like is they already have the front window frame blacked out around the edges. Very nice there. The quality of the paint is just fantastic there. You can see that all the way around. Here's where our fuel doors are, where they go into both sides. This has two tanks, obviously. And of course, the underside is where we'll attach everything. So we're going to need a washcloth to put down so that way we don't mar the paint, we don't scratch it up while we're actually assembling this. So let's go ahead and get started on building this stage. All right, so before we get started, they tell us we need to have all these parts here. I went ahead and put on some cotton gloves just to prevent myself from scratching any of the clear parts. So, of course, here's our roof. Here's our ejector seat frame. It goes on top there. Here's our front windshield. And our back windshield. Now, they want us to install the back one first. All right, so before we begin, the first thing I'm going to do is the ejector seat frame. And it simply is going to clip down on these little tiny clips right here all the way around. And the way you put the frame on, you'll see that there's some larger screw holes on this side and they go into there. So that's how that lines up. So this should just snap in place. takes a little bit of force to do it and they are all in let's see what it looks like on the other side looks great next we'll put in the back window now on the back window the wider side goes towards the top and the narrower side towards the bottom so if you look here that's how it looks narrow here wider there so we'll simply clip the rear window in. And all set there. Next they want us to put the front windshield in. It only goes in one way. It looks like it clips in from the outside. And it does. Okay. Turn it over. Make sure it clips in on top. There we go. That looks great. That's what the front windshield looks like. And that's what the back windshield looks like. Flip it over. Now we take our interior frame. And that simply goes down on top to hold everything in place. Get those visors out of the way. They didn't want us to put those visors in until later, but that's okay. Now this is where we put those black countersunk screws in. I'm going to throw a little lubricant into those holes. I'm going to use my Vaseline.
So I'm going to put a few more screws in. So we have a lot of screws to put in here. I don't think you want to watch me put them all in. I'll put one more in. Remember these are the D-type screws. They're countersunk. And the Vaseline definitely helps. Okay, so I'll put the rest of them in and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Got all the screws put in and they were a lot of fun. Like I said, they're all countersunk and it did help to use a little bit of Vaseline to help lubricate them. But I put in a total of 16 screws. There's two on top here, don't forget about those. But it looks fantastic. So if you flip this over, you can see how the front windshield looks on this. The ejection seat roof line and the rear window so we got some more assembly to do on this stage so give me a second and I'll be right back next they want us to install the fuel tank cap and the access door for the right fuel tank now you're gonna need the fuel tank cap from stage 50 to do this and that's what that looks like there and of course the access door from stage 51 so we'll go ahead and slide this in. It only goes in one way. Perfect. There we go. Snapped in there. Okay. Then we'll put our access door in next. That just simply slides in one way. And you can see how that looks. That looks great. I'm going to hold it from the outside. And I already pre-lubricated the hole that our screw goes into. And let's see here, we make sure we get it lined up. We have an alignment tab here and here that this goes down on. Tight fit and perfect. It's on there. Now we put our C screw into this. C type screw there. And that's done. And there's our fuel door. And that completes stage 52. We did a lot here. We put the front windshield in, the back windshield, the frame for the ejector seat, and one of the fueling doors on the right side. And we can see there how it's uh, opened up and how it closes. Very nice. On the interior wise, we had already installed the visors. We just had to move those out of the way uh, to put screws in. And we put all those screws in on the, on the headliner. So that looks fantastic. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. Head on over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this today. This is a gorgeous car. And if you're a big fan of James Bond like I am, you'll love this build. So with that, Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.